President Muhammad Buhari has extolled Nigerian women on the occasion of International Women's Day. Buhari observed that women are not where they should be yet in different spheres of endeavors, but believe that they could no longer be deprived for too long as they have consistently proved that they could hold their own on all fronts and in all fields. According to Buhari, the celebration under the hashtag Break the Bias and the theme Gender Equality Today for a Sustainable Tomorrow is an opportunity to reflect on the vital roles women play in society, homes, governance, their professions, and in all walks of life. We are now being joined by a broadcaster, Loretta Chiogo. Thank you for joining us, Loretta. Thank you, Banke. Okay. So my first question is, what challenges have you faced as a female journalist slash broadcaster, and how have you been able to tackle them? I think I must say kudos to us women, especially those of us in this sector of the Calibrum, uh, we should say congratulations to ourselves for what we've been able to achieve so far. You know, it's, it's one thing to think you can achieve success, it's another thing to put in the spinning wheels to ensure that you achieve it. Now, there are rules I set for myself for over 20 years, you know, getting into this industry. And I'll start from determination. And determination births focus. Focus births consistency. And then consistency births result. If anyone is cut off from this chain, there's no way you can be result oriented. Now, it takes somebody to be very determined for you to stay focused. And it takes somebody who is focused to be consistent. When you're not consistent on what you're doing, it means you don't want to get results. Now, coming back to your question, which are the challenges that are faced? Personally, challenges of being a married woman, challenges of thinking that the male folk could do better than I do, challenges of the kind of mentality we have in this part of the world where the woman is looked at as the second fiddle, end up in the kitchen or end up in the other room like we've once heard, heard in this country. So those are the kind of challenges that some of us face. But with my key rules, which is determination, focus, consistency, and then birthing result, I've been able to overcome those challenges. And of course, the mentality that the woman cannot succeed in the midst of men is the kind of mentality we shouldn't be having this 21st century. Now, if you look at the theme of the International Women's Day for this year, it's quite compact. And I mean compact, it resounds in the ears of anyone who hears that to tell you that you don't have to be static. You have to make a move. You have to make a statement about your gender. Your gender is not a second fiddle. Does that mean you want to play the role of a man like we get to hear around here? No, that's not it. What you're aiming at is to also achieve the best you can for yourself as the female gender and, of course, to also move ahead, if need be, of the male, uh, of the male folk. So challenges would always be there. But what kind of mentality do women carry uh, over these challenges? Do they think the challenges can't be surmounted? This is the reason why I think the theme is really working for this year. We need to, we need to move. We need to sustain the drive. Okay. So challenges shouldn't even stop us from doing what we need to do. It shouldn't stop us from making statements about our agenda, about succeeding in different spheres of life. Okay, thank you very much, Loretta. Um, so now we are being joined by Blessing Aso. She is a journalist joining us from um, Adamawa. Thank I you very much, Blessing, for joining us today. And to talk about blessing, 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 please hold a bit before you come on. I was, I was watching a video of blessing on Facebook this morning and she had a tripod. She was going to, for a, a shoot and she had a tripod in her husband's hands. And I was wondering what, what went wrong? You know, these are the kind of things that, you know, boost the morale of a woman, especially when you're married and you're in this kind of industry. So the man, you know, not that he doesn't have his own field of work, not that he doesn't have his own job, but it just coincided that 
is around now that we're celebrating the International Women's Day. And so it, it gave me so much pleasure to watch. And, and that is why we have listening. Uh, thank you very much. That was the question I was going to ask. That's uh, right. <laughs> straight up. Thank you very much. Blessings from joining, for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, I want, I will start with these questions. In what ways can men, book our colleagues and family members, get involved in helping us fight for gender equality? Uh, well, I don't like to see what to answer your question. Uh, personally, my, um, my, and I think that has got my confidence to help me become a more professional be fitting with work and also it is good with figures by it help he helps out with that from and then uh before now I do a lot of the that you can um, try and fix the network challenges. So, Loretta, what do you think? How can our male colleagues and family members help us fight for gender equality? Support. Support and support. That's the word. That's the only way you can boost the morale of a lady who already has a mentality that the male folk are, no, they have to take the lead. That's the only way. Because when the male folk thinks the woman cannot achieve what they achieve, then you're killing that woman gradually. You're killing that woman's mentality. Look at what's happening with the gender bills. You, you can see the, 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 the way people are coming out to say, no, this shouldn't be for the woman. Why should the gender bills be rejected? I was, well, you have to be like a witch or something because I was going to ask that question <laughs> so, also. So, because it concerns me, it concerns mm -hmm. my gender. Yeah. So why should the gender bills be rejected if we don't have something fishy? You well, must... as you know, the House of Representatives, they have rescinded yes, the decision. Rescind... How do that... you feel about that? Great. Great. But should, should we have gone that route? Mm -hmm. We shouldn't have gone that route. If, if we didn't have, we didn't have, want chaos, if we didn't want people to start screaming over, over the head of the National Assembly or the House of Representatives, so to speak. But do you really so, think that we'll have like a positive answer when they eventually reconsider the bill? I believe we should. With the kind of statements coming out from various quarters over the, gender, the initial gender bills that were rejected, we should have something um, suitable and sustainable for the women to say, okay, here we are, we can be part of this process, we can be part of nation building. Because of course, we are part of nation building, whether we like it or not. You're building your nation by doing this. I'm building my nation by doing what I do, okay? So we are part of it and we need that drive, we need that support from the male folks, and not just the male folks, I've heard situations where the women are even the ones against themselves sure, sure. so the the, uh, the the women think look you can you can't go further than than i do and then we come to back to ground zero so i think it's time for the women to get organized get together support each other move together and then make it work nothing should stand as a challenge when the challenges come then we can surmount with the amount of determination and focus and consistency that we have, okay. then we can both resolve. Okay, so this year's um, International Women's Day theme is breaking the bias. Um, how do you think that we can break the bias in your industry? In breaking the bias, women should be given more top positions. They should be given, they should be challenged. They should be allowed to take, to play roles of leadership. They should be allowed to invest. Invest in this sense means invest in what they already have yeah, in education. Yes, should be allowed, yeah. But you know, um, every time I have this conversation with, let's say, a member of the opposite sex, they always say women are too emotional and they will bring emotions into the job and maybe hence spoil it or something. And that, and that is why I said to you initially, let there be support. 
And the woman should also discard the mentality of, I can't do it, just this is for the men to do. And personally, I don't like staying around women who think they cannot do stuff. Because that's the beginning of that poor mentality that will drive the woman down and downward and downward. And so it would take time for such a woman to realize that she's got lots of potentials to put out there for the public to see, lots of potential to impart our generation, lots of uh, potentials to drive um, nation building. So if, if a woman, if, if the male folks feel the, the women are just too emotional, the women should then turn it around, turn the message around immediately. You turn the message around by doing what people thought you couldn't do. That's the only way. And it takes determination to do this. If you're not determined to turn around the message, you'd stay where you are. Okay. Thank you very much, Loretta, for joining Thank us. Thank you, Bante. Loretta is a broadcaster. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.